Stephen, what are your emotions after that one tonight? Yeah, buzzing with it. I think it's um, actually there's a little bit of relief in there. I think it's been a long time coming. It's been a thing that's been hanging over the team. I feel, as I said earlier on in the week, I think we've played okay at home. I haven't got the results to show for it. The last home result was obviously a loss that hurt everyone, and we wanted to try and put that right. I think over the last few games that we've lost, we've done some parts of the games well, but we haven't done all of the all of the parts of the game as well as you need to. So tonight we've done that. We haven't played brilliant football, far from it. It won't be a game that we'll remember forever, but it's a win, and that was um, that was all that was important. What was the most pleasing aspect tonight? The way we battled, especially in the second half. I think um, obviously we changed our shape a little bit and felt that, that tactically that was um, probably the best way to go about it because we knew that the strength of QPR's forward players, especially lately, they're in really good form. So we just showed it up a little bit and made ourselves a little bit hard to play against, and I thought we defended really well. Um, there's parts of the first half we got a bit of momentum right before we scored and then second half um, was the longest 45 minutes of my life but it doesn't matter we've, um, we've got over the line and we've got that all important three points that we all wanted in terms of the corner is that something you would have worked on in training yeah galleon is um is, is obviously really good i think we've been working hard on the set plays we, we highlighted this week um that we've had a lot of corners, and even in the last four games, a load of corners and not made the most of them. So, the delivery tonight from Lewis Baker was outstanding. It's um, you know, it's a, it's another quality that he's shown, and, and Luke actually should probably score from the header, but thankfully Bergs is in the right position where Galley put him, and um, and he taps it in on the back post. So, yeah, pleasing for that. And um, I say it didn't matter what type of goal it was, as long as we got one, give us that. Um, that lift the half time that we needed and give us something to hold on to. What was required in the second half to keep that clean sheet? Determination and desire and again we spoke to the players about like that's kind of the bare minimum and it's what our fans will, will um, expect and, and we'll get behind so it wasn't to say it wasn't a pretty performance but you could see that everyone dug in I think all the subs that came on made a big impact got in themselves into good positions and defended the box really well we had a one or two breakaways in the second half but predominantly it was QPR throwing everything at us and we had to stand up to everything that they did and um, and we dealt with it and to get a clean sheet is a home and a win is so important. For you personally what does it mean to get that first home win? Good but it's not about me personally it's one of them it's there's been going on the home form has not been good enough here for a long time so it's yeah it's not about me it's about the team getting getting three points and, and for the fans really as well as I say it's been frustrating the last four games in particular because from playing better than what we've played today, we've lost games. So, yeah, it's been been a uh, tough couple of weeks, but hopefully that can give the lads some confidence and we can move on to the next game with um, yeah, with more belief that we can get another result here. How do you go about trying to build on this result now? Recover first and foremost. That's the main thing. Get the lads back in tomorrow. Get um, get get as much recovery. Trust the medical team and the performance team to get the lads. Um, ready to go again on Saturday. It's going to be a huge game against, uh, sorry, against Coventry. They're obviously a good team. We're at the top end of the division at the moment. And yeah, we have to make sure that we can we fight and compete as well as we did tonight. And if we can, hopefully pass the ball to a red shirt a bit more.